All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action out of the 175 pound weight class. Modified rules, fighting out of the red corner tonight. He's wearing the red trunks with the black trim, weighing in at 173. He represents Capital MMA with a one and one record. From Washington, D.C., Darren Machete Lopez. And fighting out of the blue corner, it is his 26th birthday, and he's wearing the white trunks with the black trim, weighing in at 175. He represents King Thai Boxing with a four and two record. From Madrid, Spain, by way of New York, Ivan Nindong. in the dressing room, one nice clean fight, I made my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner that I tell you to go to, remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard, touch them all. All right, a couple of big boys set to do battle on Friday night fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Our 2019 season opener rolls on with a couple 175 pounders set to square off from the Broad Street Ballroom. On the left side of your screen, in the white and blue, it's Ivan Endong out of King's Thai Boxing in New York City, and he comes out hot against Darren Lopez from Capital MMA in D.C. Oh, they got a lot of leverage on those knees early. Leaving that space in between the hips there to drive those knees through. It's a modified rules Muay Thai matchup here at the Class B level. No elbows allowed. Shin pads obviously being worn by the two fighters. Lopez wearing all red. And Dong again in the white with black trim and the blue shin pads. This is a fun weight class, 175. They got the strength and the power, and they still have the speed. And both guys looking to do damage early on in this one, Jason. Oh, they are definitely looking to do damage, that's for sure. Nice teeth by Ivan Endong. There's no jabbing and feeling each other out here. It's, I'm going to smash you, you're going to smash me. Look at that. Straight right <laughs> to the jaw lands for Ivan Endong, making his debut tonight. Lopez, meanwhile, comes in with a mark of one and one. It'd be fun if this went three rounds, but I'm not sure. Unless they run out of steam, but, man, this is... Straight right, right down the middle. That was beautiful. A couple of good straight rights have landed for Endong, and there oh, he man, fires up nice the right, bo the body kick, yes. A little variety from Ivan so far. Oh, Ivan's setting everything up real nice. Aaron's doing a good job with him over there at King's Muay Thai. Good Lopez. defense. Lopez tries to counter there at a left find this mark on the body, but it's Endong coming forward again. What I like about Ivan is he's setting things up. He's changing the speeds of, speed of his punches. He's not just throwing everything at the same speed. He'll kind of tap, tap, and then throw a big shot. Tap, 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 boom. And a nice knee to the body to cap off that combination. Couple of knees, switching knees from both of these fighters. He talked about the variety in punch speed from Endong, Jason, as round one comes to a close. A lot of times, inexperienced fighters don't have the wherewithal to do that, don't have the wherewithal not to punch themselves out so early in the fight. Yeah, it, take, it takes time to develop that. They're just having a, you know, a ring awareness of just understanding how to throw and how to move in the ring. And then you're out there, you get excited. You're in front of all these people, you want to just go and go and go, but sometimes you, that energy, you can take it and slow it down and set things up and be a lot more effective than just trying to throw hard. Your shots will land more. They won't see it coming, and it actually does a lot more damage than just trying to rush everything or muscle everything through. There was a nice combination capped off by an inside Very good combinations. Kick. Punches the kicks. A little bit of everything. Very calm. A little bit of everything from Ivan Endong in his first official round. And that's that was a great setup. Kind of faked the jab a little bit. Hit that right hand right behind it. That's that's You couldn't ask for a better combination. Blind him with the jab and send that right hand straight in. Dexter David and Eldon Phillips providing all our replay video tonight, doing a great job. As we open up 2019 with a bang, round number two between two big guys, Ivan Endong in the white and Darren Lopez in the red. Lopez known as Machete, the machete, but so far, it's been Endong doing the cutting in the ring. It just doesn't seem like he has an answer for Ivan's punches. Couple of uppercuts land for Endong. Lopez hanging tough, but he looked a little bit staggered after that last uppercut. Just as I say that, 
Lopez fires a right hand back. Stopped Ivan in his tracks. Darren Lopez, actually a New York City native, now resides in the D.C. area, fights out of Capital MMA, trains under Steven Rosillo and Daniel Vivas. A couple of body kicks by Lopez, met with straight rights again from Endong. I like how Ivan just sat down right there, dropped his weight in the middle a little bit, looking to punch. And Ivan, of course, from King's Tie Boxing in NYC, taught, te uh, learns under none other than Aaron the Ghost Fisher. Tremendous fighter in his own right back in the day, and now a tremendous coach. I'd like to see Darren not leave his head straight in the middle when he's walking forward. If he just would step off to the side a little bit, just not come, he just, he just walks straight in and just walks right into that jab. Nice jump knee attempt there from Ivan Endong. Well, athleticism shown by the big man. Good sweep, good timing by Lopez. He's got to set that low kick up a little more, Lopez does. Straight left. Staggers Lopez and now a couple of right hands. Combination from Endon. That straight right hand is not missing. Uppercuts as well in the mix for the big guy, Endon. Final 10 seconds of round two. Nice body punch by Lopez, but it does not slow down no. Ivan Endon. And one more right to the chin to cap things off in that round and a thumbs up from Aaron Fisher as Ivan heads back to the blue corner. That was a very good second round. One thing I noticed there in that second round, Jason, both guys showing a lot of energy, but not a lot of movement side to side. They were pretty much going straight down the middle. Just kind of, I mean, that, that, that comes with time also. I mean, Ivan, this is his debut. It's his first fight. He looks great for his first fight. Again, Lopez one and one. I mean, less than three fights. I mean, this is, the quality of kickboxing out here is amazing. Now, Ivan Endog celebrating a birthday today. So he's 20 years of age. Darren Lopez is 39. So that could be a factor as well. Oh, that's never a factor. Never a factor? Never. It's Says all the ageless your, it's wonder. All in your mind. Out. All in your mind. I think I could get back in here. Until one, one of it. these guys hit me, and then I, maybe not. <laughs> we don't doubt your abilities, Jason Strout. And we can't doubt Darren Lopez either. He's had some nice moments here, but Endong has really landed some flush shots through the first two rounds. There's another to begin round three. I like, I like how Darren's kind of dipping underneath those punches. I wonder if he's going to bring a right hand up over the top of that jab. Stuck a left hook to the body in a moment ago. Outside leg kick for Lopez. Spinning back kick for Darren. You see Darren thinking. It looks like he's trying to set something up. As they modified rules, tie boxing matchup at 175 pounds. We're in round three of a schedule three. Ivan Endong in the white trunks and blue pads making his debut. Darren Lopez in his third fight at the Class B level, and he's under fire right now from Endong. Halfway through the third and final round, Endong reaching with that jab. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> Two big guys slugging it out right now, Jason Strout. Nice he, knee. You can see them both kind of thinking and, 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 and looking at each other and watching each other's punches and kicks. And but both staying on that vertical plane. Oh, they're though. right there. Yeah, they're, they're just like the beginning of the fight. They're not moving. They want to fight. Jumping knee, jumping knee with the right this time by Ivan. Seen a little bit of everything from this guy. But Darren's having some fun. Look at that. Now he's straightening out his right hand. Nice body shots. Nice knee to the body again by Ivan Endom. Trying to finish strong here at his debut. They're both mixing it up. I like how Darren's going to the body and bringing his hands back upstairs. Straight right hand. Catches Lopez's attention. Body kick by Darren. Good left body kick, too. It was nice and deep. But Endom walks through it. Now a little bit of an opening for Darren, but perhaps too little too late as the bell sounds. We go the distance, Ivan Endong and Darren Lopez go three on Friday Night Fights. Some of the highlights from that third and final round, let's check them out. Like Lopez went a little bit low and an immediate straight right. That was his go-to punch throughout yeah, that, this fight. That, 
That kind of light jab and then that straight right hand right down the middle. Really ferocious straight rights throughout it, it, this It's kind of funny. I'm sure he's going to go home and watch the video later and, and yell at himself and say, why didn't I just keep throwing that? You know, when you're in there, you're thinking, maybe you're thinking too much, and you keep throwing the jab and the cross, and sometimes it's landing, it's landing too good, and you second guess, like, well, there must be something wrong. I keep landing it. Or you don't even realize you're throwing it, or you don't realize that you're not throwing it as much until you get back home and watch the tape, and you're like, man, that's what experience is all about. You know, it's his debut. Five, six, seven, eight, ten fights down the road, he won't be doing that as much. So Ivan Endon looks to make a splash on his birthday and in his debut. His first appearance officially in the ring. Let's find out who the winner is from Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner by unanimous decision. All of the judges see this 30 27 in favor of. Well, happy birthday, buddy. Ivan Indong! Ivan Endong, originally from Madrid, Spain. Now he calls New York City his home. And he puts on a show for the fight fans here at the Broad Street Ballroom. Very nice job by a young man in his first official fight, Jason. Yeah, I, I, I think he's got a promising career if he sticks with it. I think Aaron's doing a great job with him.